Georges Simulator as a Provocator of Semiotic Representation for Statistics Learning in STEAM by Drs. Claudio Orozco and Abel Palafox. The problems in their static data had been extracted from his textbooks. This represents a limitation in the understanding of the problem, since data sampling process, data collection, and organization stage are skipping. The statistic learning is reduced to performing mathematical calculation algorithms to solve activities without context. That's why there is a need to integrate more realistic situations, which cannot always be represented in the classroom. To enhance the learning experience, George Simulator was developed based on the theory of semiotic representation. A mathematical object can have different representation registers verbal, numerical, graphic, iconic, and tabular. A semiotic representation system involves three cognitive activities, formation, treatment, and conversion. G-order is only a data simulator, which by itself does not promote learning. That's why students must solve a problem situation, in which they will take a decision to hire the service of career company or implement the own shipping system. To make this decision, they should consider the following conditions. Envy local company is the first option. Their costs are estimated by the price per kilogram of 10 pesos plus 25 pesos field shares per shipping, less than 8% discount for the completion of a one-year contract. Envy postal fixed price per shipping of 50 pesos plus a fixed administration fee of 3,000 pesos, less a 50% discount for one-year contract. The own shipping systems consider that an employee can pack and ship 25 orders per day and a driver can deliver approximately 50 orders per day. The salary proposed by this company for each employee is three minimum wages and we work from Monday to Saturday during the day and we rest on all holidays scheduled by law. In addition, we have an agreement with an insurance company that provides a cost of 3.5 pesos per kilometer of travel. To solve the problem, a student must interpret the problem and generate the data in order to perform the sampling in data collection. Organize the information in a spreadsheet, calculate the estimators and graphics, use the semiotic representation as a solution controller make a decision and present the results. The administrator interface is used to create a configuration file in which the coordinates that delimit the delivery surface must be placed. Three parameters of mean, longitude and latitude along with their standard deviation must be inserted to generate order accumulations at three locations. If the teacher wants the data to be widely scattered on the map, they must create a large standard deviation or if they want them to be close together, they must create a small one. The teacher can also configure the number of orders per day of the week and the percentages of order of each weight category. The user interface used by the student was programmed to select the days, week, and location of the warehouse to be simulated. In a first attempt at the solution, the teams considered that the hiring of employees was variable and according to the orders received, meaning one day they had one employee another day four, and so on. This was seen graphically with a lot of liability, so they deduced that there could be an error. Another team considered the cost of human resources to be constant, since they had to pay the same regardless of the number of orders received. They deduced that this was not possible and that something was wrong with their solution. They identified the variability of shipping costs per day is generated from vehicle insurance and fuel expended to make deliveries. Another team solved the problem correctly. The students took a sample of two weeks and generated the tabular record of each proposal. Then built the graphical and numerical register. They concluded that although the own shipping system is not the cheapest of the three, because it does not have so much variability, so they decided that they would implement their own transportation system. The simulator was constructed in such a way that the student could visualize by coordinating between types of semiotic representation registers the relationship between the concentration of the points and the dispersion of the data calculated by the standard deviation. This simulator represents a new way of learning statistics since involving the student with experimentation 
sampling, and the process of data collection and organization is significant for their learning. The implementation promoted the social construction of knowledge during the evaluation process, the effect that the transformation of the semiotic representation register had on the students was that metacognition was being observed. It involved the students in a context close to the field of work. Despite this, there is still a long way to go. So it is expected that more simulators will be created to reproduce different real engineering situations which are difficult to represent in the classroom, since they elicited the use of amniotic representations for the learning of a statistics.